Um, so uh, generally, that's like a, that's that's sort of the two kind of type of people you have in society: the 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 try oncer and the the try everything. Okay. Uh, the try everything person is going to be more successful at this than than probably the try oncer, although there are going to be exceptions to every rule. All right. Uh, I, I when I when you go into these things, I suggest that you say to your mind, no matter what type of these, if it, if like your health is on the line here, and meat is something that your doctor has said, like, look, you just you can't handle this anymore. You're going to have like crippling arthritis, or you're going to like your heart cannot handle that type of stuff anymore like you you know if you're in a situation where you're just going to have to work red meat out of your diet and pork and that's all there is to it or you're going to freaking die then you need you need to go into the thing with the mentality of is this acceptable not is it exactly like the other thing because it's not going to be is this acceptable is it tolerable can I live with this? And I guarantee after you've been drinking like water or the same flavor soda, you know, uh, the Dr. Pepper crowd, you people like scare the shit out of me. You scare the shit out of me. All you people drink is Dr. Pepper. That's fucking boring. <laughs> like, like vanilla is fucking boring. Okay. It is not the best ice cream flavor. It is not. Most of, most people out there seem to feel like it is. I love mint chocolate chip right? That's one of my favorite ice cream flavors. Like, 22% of people hate it, right? But I'd be willing to bet none of those people have tried it, or many of those people probably haven't tried it, okay? People are just not open-minded enough about, like, food and trying it. They, there's literally a fear. Oh, I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. Well, what's there to be afraid of? <laughs> exactly. It's not going to poison you, probably. You know, I... The, the whole mentality on, on, on food and trying new things, I, you, it, half, half of you people out there wouldn't be able to be an expat, you know? I, I remember so many times sitting in China, like, the new teacher shows up, and it's like, oh, this is what we have to eat, you know? And they're just not driving with the local food, and then, like, they're spending way too much money on McDonald's, and then two weeks later, they're friggin' gone. Like, they just, just because of their... Their hang-ups in their head, they were unable to expat in another country and experience that, okay? Just because they're afraid of food. They're afraid of trying new things. Uh, so that that is like the first... Uh, I almost worked these people out of my life, uh, honestly. If, if I mean, unless I'm related to them or whatever. If I have friends that are very like, nope, 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 nope. I don't do this, that, or the other. Like, I don't eat this, I don't eat that. I, I work them out of my fucking life for the reason that they are inflexible. They are unable to assimilate. If I'm ever stuck in a shit-hit-the-fan situation with those people, they're going to be hell to deal with. They're going to be picky -ish. They're, they're not going to let their pickiness go. You know? So, I, 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 don't, I, I don't tend to deal with people like that. That, you know, are inflexible dietarily. Okay, uh, I have a relative that will not drink water or anything but ice cold. It's like, man, if the shit hits the fan, you're going to drink whatever water I manage to get clean. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and I think that these are things that are important that, like, you, you, you practice at, you know, um, for these situations. Yeah. I, I, I try and think ahead and be prepared a little bit. But by far... The, the, the hardest thing about becoming vegan, pescatarian, or vegetarian, or, you know, whatever you're going to become dietarily, uh, you know, one of those raw food vegans or whatever, what, what, what's going to be difficult, the most difficult, is not even giving up meat, because, again, you have options there, all right? And meat tastes like shit now anyway. Um, pork is still kind of okay. Bacon's still kind of okay. Um... But, uh, you know, the, the, there's, I don't, I haven't really had any good beef that was affordable, at least, and not raised on some small, tiny, little, commercial beef sucks, okay? If you think commercial beef still tastes good, there's something wrong with your taste buds, really. Um, people are having to spice the shit out of it just to get 
bit to taste like anything. Uh, but the, the, the hardest part of it for me has just been other people being uncool about it. You know, wearing, wearing like the vegetarian is another word for village idiot, like hoodie. It's like, dude, I have a medical condition, okay? You know, stop being a jackass. Well, you could take medication. Well, I mean, okay. I know it was your job to decide what I can take. But, you know, I'm not the village idiot because I have specialized dietary requirements. Uh, that being said, there have been occasions where I have had to meat cheat. I don't like to, um, but there have been one or two times where I've been just desperately in need of some protein and there was no fish on the menu and I could just not eat any more french fries and like I, I got like some chicken so chickens usually my my meat cheat like if I have to um, <clears throat> and uh, you know I, I will I'll take fish whenever I can I can get it I, I really like fish uh, I mean I'd eat fish for breakfast uh, so really it it hasn't been that hard I like I just and the other thing to consider is when I moved up to to uh, DFW um, my father had already remarried and uh, they had been on a vegetarian lifestyle for a while anyway so when I moved in with them even though I wasn't really a vegetarian like at work and stuff like at at home like you know once or twice a day at least I was eating vegetarian and I was really thinking like I mean man this is you know this is really pretty good but it, it, again it's 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 in your head you have to change that thinking that like you need it to be exactly the same because you don't you don't not to sustain your life or or, or keep you alive or you know keep you healthy you know uh, you, you, you don't need that stuff. You really don't. You need a certain amount of protein, and there are many, many ways outside of the meat world to, to get protein. Nuts, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I uh, when my teeth weren't uh, in such bad shape, I was eating a lot of nuts on the side and, and stuff like that. Um... A lot of people also don't seem to you you eat beans so you eat meat. Okay, beans are not meat. <laughs> All right, they're not meat. They get put in the meat group because they have as much protein as meat. Beans are your best friend as a vegetarian or vegan. Uh, if if your diet allows you to eat beans, you eat a lot of beans because you know uh, they're they're. If you have beans and rice, you have a complete protein that's one of the best overall meals you can eat um, and and uh, you know I, I do that now and then uh, um, there are certain ramens I can have you know R really you j if once you have like a disease like gout or Crohn's or something like that or uh, you know just any anything that's gonna be you know really affected by your diet uh, uh, celiac, uh, you, you know that kind of stuff. You start reading labels a lot, and if if it you know has stuff that you can't have in it, you just go, you just find something else. You know. But uh, yeah, this is this is gonna if if uh, my father-in-law had to be taken off off meat, he would he'd rather die. You know. He, I, I totally believe that. He'd rather just... But you're not really missing out on much. You know? It's, it, it, it is easier than, than almost everybody thinks it is. Almost everybody thinks it is. I was very resistant to it at first. I've managed to cut my meat consumption overall, including fish, down to just a few times a week or, or, or even a month. Um... I see, man, I have really good biscuits and gravy with that morning star sausage and stuff. You know, I, I just don't really feel like I'm missing out, okay? Uh, 
And most of the time, like I said, it's like seven string guitar. Uh, most of the time, people are just overthinking it, right? Uh, and and it, it, it's not as complex as it seems. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you guys might have. And uh, thanks for watching. Go on running out.